same thing that they're doing right now. And you, you look back and you say, look how I look. Look how skinny. That'll be something else. That would be in a few years back, about 25. <laughs> well, then at, at 103, we said uh, 103 was the prime number, so we came up with 13 prime things that are also older than Max. They're still working, and uh, we had a lot more of that. And then today, we said, well, it's on Max 104 on our Three on three basketball tournament, and so we we a, came up with something that actually is older than Max, which is basketball. And for those of you who don't know, here's a quiz: Where was basketball invented? Who knows? I was Maybe in high know? school. I was playing on lightweights, <laughs> and uh, basketball was a great thing then as it is now. But did you know that basketball is actually older than you are, Max? <laughs> who knows where basketball was invented? Okay. At the YMCA. At the YMCA. And who knows when? 1891 at the Springfield YMCA. So basketball is actually older than Max Fabian. Oh, right. Is that or not? So here we go. And we're proud. We're proud that, that basketball got to start with a peach basket in, uh, in 1891 at the Springfield YMCA. Thanks, Max. Max, the Max is, is skinnier than I am. He works out more than I do. Okay. At any rate, um, Max, uh, we're here to celebrate your birthday. Yes. And, um, and on, this, on this day, 109 years ago, William Howard Taft was inaugurated president, the 27th president of the United States. And if you want to keep living a great deal longer than myself, keep breathing. Yes. That will keep you going for a long time. All right. So now we're going to have a ceremonial jump ball with Max. So if we can have the, uh, a couple of the guys here who are going to be the next game. We're going to have Max throw up the jump ball. Great and we're going to go right here. Yes. And we want to remember that. that uh, four. Remember that. 104. Two. two. That. Throw it up. Before you match the ball. Before you match the ball. That Max represents. What the Y stands for youth development, healthy living, and social responsibility in all one great package. So let's give Max again a tremendous round of applause. For all these kids who are here in this tournament today who uh, represent the Max of the future. Thank so, right, right right you. That's how you have to all the kids that way. You're a ball champion. Yeah, stand right Okay. Okay. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Now we're going to bring in Max's birthday cake. Okay? We're all going to sing happy birthday. Now we learned our lesson four years ago on Max's 100th birthday when we actually lit 100 birthday candles and the cake melted before we can finish lighting the candles and blow them out. So now we are going to just have a representation of all those candles. Yeah. Remember the one that came from your next? I don't want to see that uh, I've been here just watching and feeling, well, if I could only be young once again. <laughs> so here we go. 
here we go. Well, let's all sing Happy Birthday to Max. Happy Birthday to you. I could hear him say something, but, but uh, silence. Do you do you like the North Suburban YMCA in Northbrook, Illinois? I love the Northbrook. It brought me back to civilization. There's a few people here that uh, I may distrust, but nevertheless, they are good at heart. And that's all I ask. Do the right thing and be trustworthy. Oh, pardon me. Philip Howard, why is he an inspiration? And what? Because he survived this war without somebody killing him. Yeah. So what do you think his secret is to a long life? I think Max has seen a long life is healthy living at the YMCA. You're asking me those questions. Yeah, I know, but you're not answering. <laughs> oh, oh, I see. <laughs> Joe. Thank you. This is Jesse. Yeah. I always, I appreciate everything that people do for me. Sometimes I don't know if I should cry or laugh. And I appreciate all these accolades I'm getting now that why do I deserve them? Because I'm living longer or because they love me? You know, I'm an example of people that says, will I last that long? And I tell them, no, there's just a few of us left. I'd like to believe 